Sorry. Um, I'm so sorry. I just skipped that. Um, the video preview uh, got disconnected, and everything is fucking up, and I'm so sorry. So I'm going to uh, remake this character real quick, and we're just going to pretend this never happened. Um, uh, Proto, it was not you. You were not the one that disconnected. I was. And I'm so sorry. Uh, we're going to go back to character select. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I didn't want that to happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Ugh. Live! Um, yeah, I might have to change the settings so that they're a little lower. Hello, Delabot. Anyway, uh, delete. It's really easy to create new characters in this game, which is convenient. I can basically just make the exact same character. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I just I lost connection to everything for some reason. Uh, okay, we're gonna do this right. Uh, which eyes? Eyes. Those eyes. Nose five. Four, jaw four. Uh, fuck it, we'll go with that haircut, hairstyle. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Big brown bushy eyebrows, no makeup. Or right, yes, this makeup. Where is it? Egyptian. Yes. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, fuck it, we're just gonna get out, get out ASAP. We're, we're shoes done. I'm so sorry. Uh, can please, uh, before I start this, somebody in chat tell me that they can see me. I know I have to wait like 10 seconds or so for chat to catch up. Um. Sorry. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, you see my face. Good. Alright, starting over. This is fine. It's totally fine! We'll do it live! I hope you guys have been paying attention because that backstory is actually very important right there. The stuff that is in the background, that's important. Seriously, like, they make it so obvious that he's a bad guy. I just... <laughs> Granted, I don't actually know if he's evil, but it's just like... Everything you do for him involves dark shit happening. It's not my place to intervene, but then this is I don't know, I might, it might be like a giant red herring. Game volume is low? Okay, I can fix that. Not right now, but I can fix it. Covered in bees! Oh, 
What's going on there, huh? Yeah. It's so, um, yeah, a lot. So a lot of the arg involved how bees were disappearing, and I mean, they're in reality they are disappearing because people are killing bees for no good reason other than oh my god bees, which is fucking everything up. But in this world, uh, the bees are very important, like more important than they are in our reality. <laughs> Uh, and apparently it's because they give people magic fucking superpowers. We're fine, don't worry about it. Totally fine. Fine. We're fine. See, we're fine. We're we're playing catch a fireball. It's great. <laughs> Hi Eddie. Thank you for joining. So this is where you start to get the personalized stuff depending on if you're Illuminati, um the others are Templar and Dragon. Um. <laughs> Somebody's been bad. I approve. Mind if I come in? Time is ticking, so I'll cut straight to the chase. I work in talent acquisition, specializing in a highly unconventional sector for a very particular client. And they're particularly interested in your kind of talent. Fucking stuff up. Putting it back this is an R rated game. The fabric of space and time, basic M rated. My client is only interested in the best of the best. That's where I come in. Your talent is raw, but it's uh, obvious. My client has the means to refine that talent and make the most of what you've got, and I'm not talking about money. Well, not just money. Protection. Power. The best parties in the biz. We're prepared to give you a unique opportunity, a chance to prove you've got what it takes to hang with the big boys and girls. To rule the world. It's up to you to grab that opportunity by the balls. Based on what I've seen so far, you might be what I'm looking for, or you might end up dead. Time will tell. Tick tock. You have an appointment tomorrow in Brooklyn that I'd uh, recommend you keep. There's no address. Consider this the commencement of your official interview. Find us, or we'll find you. My client has uh, eyes everywhere. Don't be stupid. Late again. <laughs> So, uh, this is why I like the Illuminati characters. Pretty much all of them have that kind of sass to them. Like, they all, uh... They're all really fun characters to listen to, and I just like to listen to them for hours, and I don't care what they say to me. Uh... But, like, with the Templar, um, everyone's British, which is a plus, um, because they are based in London. Um, but everyone's very, like reserved and very traditional and very proper you know you can't just run around doing whatever you like um shit like that and then the dragon fuck the dragon just, just fuck him you, you're basically being uh led around by a little god baby and his annoying motherfucking secretary um let me just adjust that sorry that always bugs me, so I have to I have to fix it every time. Um, but anyway, so here we are in Brooklyn, playing the game, looking at my character. Can zoom in and out. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to do a lot of um, like secret gathering and like extra stuff um, while I'm playing. I'll do some of it behind the scenes, you know. But uh, for the most part, um, for the most part, I want you guys to play this game, and I want you to like. You can play it with me. You can play it some, you know, whenever you want. But like, just this game has so much to it, and a lot of it is stuff that I, I even I haven't figured out yet because I haven't played in years. Um, but like there's so much exploration, there's so much lore, there's so many quests to do, like 
everything in this there's so much in this game oh my god um and if i did all of it i would literally no 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 too much visibility on the street they're listening they're always listening that's why i keep the dryers running 24 7. they bug my phones read my mail they have this place on cctv replace my girlfriend with an Android. Hi, hon. I know you know. And they know I know. You know? <laughs> oh, you're wondering why they haven't disappeared me. Shut down my magazine? It's because I play smart. I play along. It's a game to them. You know? It's all just a game. <laughs> oh, hi, 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 Leah. Don't worry. She's, she's, she's not one of them. She's in my D&D group. Role-playing is the only avenue to resist control. We do nothing, nothing, they don't tell us to. They've been conditioning us in, 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 in every kind of media for years, okay? Example, Pac-Man. That's how they see you. Just, 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 just a little head, just a mind share. And you run through the mazes, the mazes they built, sucking down their pills, the fruit, the forbidden wisdom of Eden, never enough. And you can't shake the fucking ghosts, right? I mean, they're watching you. Their eyes are always watching you. Even beyond death. This all adds up. That's where you'll find the Illuminati. At the dark center. In the ghost house. In the labyrinth. It's right here. Just, just follow the yellow dot road. <laughs> That's all I can say. See? These are fun characters. Like, oh my god. Just... I love them so much. But anyway, as I was saying, um, this game has so much exploration and so much side shit. Like, just look look at all the stuff you can ask this guy about, and he will go on for paragraphs about every single one of these things, and he'll he'll talk about it too. Like here. Who I am isn't important. What is important, what is vitally important, is raising awareness of the truth. You can quote me on that. David O. Screed, editor in chief, a weird nonfiction magazine. Maybe you read us. Or maybe they stumped you. Every single one of those dialogues is spoken. It's like five sentences long. <laughs> and there are five of them. Some people have more. Um, you know, some people only have one or two. And then there are people like her who are androids and have nothing. But anyway. It's been real. Uh... There is just so much to explore in this game that if I did everything, it would literally take me years to stream it all for you guys. Like, literally years. Um, you know, not including, like, you know, assuming that I have to sleep at some point. Um, and eat. You know, two very important things. Um, just go sprinting. But yeah, so, um, to Goose asking, I picked Arcadia because that is the one that I have always been on. Just always. If you look at all my characters, they're all on Arcadia. <laughs> um, okay, so this is, this is one of the things I'm talking about. This is a little exploration, exploration thing, which is like these little nodes of lore. Um, and this is how much there is. Uh, let's see, 104 in Solomon Island. 55 in Valley of the Sun God, 65 in Transylvania, 145 in Tokyo, 273 global ones, um, 85 events related, and 86 issue related, and issues are like the expansions. Um, so th that's just for lore bits, little bits of lore information. The achievements are even bigger, there's fi 759 achievements in total. Um, but yeah, just for lore, you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of little bits of information that you can read. Like, this is what you get. You get little bits of information about the story and the setting and different things that have happened that you can read. And it's all, like, really good. And it's just, there's just so much. There's too much. I, I forget if there, I think there might be one up here. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Yeah, there is one up here. See, I, I, I remember fucking Brooklyn. 
This is my jam. This is my place. <laughs> Can't tell if that says like ruck or fuck or I don't I don't care. We don't care about that. What we care about are the little hand icons. I don't know if you can see that right there. That are f teaching us the way to go in these catacombs, these strange underground catacombs. Bye, Music Ninja. Sorry sorry you couldn't stay with us, Duck. This is a really fun game, and I really want you, if not to see it, if, if not to play it, I do want you to see this at some point, because it's a really fun game. And I hope to see you in-game someday. Whee! Oh yeah, there's like no falling damage in this game, ever. And hey, look what I found. I found the aluminum noms. That, in in case you can't tell, that is the symbol of the aluminum noms, the Illuminati. Whoop! Hi. <laughs> All right. You know the drill. Run them through due diligence. And now, yeah, now we get to meet. <laughs> favorite character number one of two. <laughs> Have you ever seen a person void themselves from exposure to pink noise? Get these two freaks out of here! <laughs> Hi. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist or taken psychedelic drugs? Whoa, 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 don't freak out! You got a lot of narcosynthetics in your system to fast-track the rapport process. So make yourself comfortable before you lose motor function in your arms and legs. Is it safe? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm a researcher. An experimental researcher. Zern, my schedule is triple booked, so get started ten minutes ago. Uh, yes, ma'am. Miss Geary. Management. <laughs> Still here. Ship. Knew that. <laughs> wow. Illuminati. Always there. Okay. Today, we're going to be provoking your extra human potential. Routine tests. Psychic driving, invasive procedures, auto-suggestion. This is all going to happen while you're under a post-hypnosis role-playing scenario. A.K.A. the tutorial. Don't worry about it. I'm going to play you a looped recording of the catastrophe in Tokyo. And then, with a little... Chemical assistant, <laughs> your uninhibited neurons are going to work their crazy magic. I won't lie to you, this is going to be an intense out of body experience. Wow, I'm pretty excited myself. And subject has. Left the building. <laughs> so yeah, that's Dr. Zern. Um, definitely influenced by um, a certain well-known doctor from the 80s. <laughs> um, yeah, I love him. He's funny and great. I, lo I, I love... Mm, right? Stop talking. From in the park... To Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragons thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb. It's never just a bomb. Something worse. Something that brought the filth with it. So we fight. That's what us Templars do. I enjoy a good fight. It's just these trousers are bloody velvet. Sarah! Thank Gaia! I ain't Sarah, bitch. Um, but yes, he does remind very much of a certain other doctor that is based on that other doctor. Um, <laughs> one that drinks and burps a lot. Uh, because they're both from, like, they, I, 
think they're just both based on the same guy. Um, I don't need help. But I will play through the tutorial for you guys because it is very important story-wise. Um, this is basically a look at uh, some cool shit. Number one, these three characters, um, they are from some very cool animated trailers that they made prior to this game's release, and you should definitely go watch them. Um, if I can remember, I will put a link to those videos in the description of the YouTube video when this comes out, so they will be down there somewhere, hopefully, in the future. I hope. Um, but they're fucking great. And this guy, oh, sorry, this guy right here, this guy, this motherfucker here, this is one of the reasons why I chose the Illuminati. It's because of this motherfucking <laughs> cuntbag asshole, and I love him. Ah, but yeah. And then she's with the Templar. She's a cute little little girl that kicks ass, and she is with the dragon. Um, I don't know why she's with the dragon, but she is. So, anyway, let's let's zoom out and play the game. Oh, right, I was supposed to uh, fix the uh, audio. One second. Um, there, now tell me if it's too loud. Uh, tell me if it's too loud or not loud enough or anything. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So this is how you fight shit. Uh-oh. Uh Woo. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but uh, she just got et by the things that are coming at us very quickly. Sup? Nice shooting. This is how battle goes. <laughs> it's gone viral so fast. If this gets out into Tokyo, it doesn't. We stop it here, whatever it takes. You can see they're all using different um, abilities from different weapons and magic that you can use in the game. I think he is specifically using uh, elemental magic. She's using a katana, obviously, and then she's... I think she's also using a shotgun. Ah! Ow! You can't actually get away from that, I don't think. Don't let it get on you. Don't even breathe in. It's reacting to us. Yeah. So this is the filth. It's this weird, like Cthulian. Cancer doesn't know you're coming. It just is. As he's saying, cancer doesn't know you're coming. It just is. But it's infecting the world. Um. Whee. That's your plan? Well, it's a plan. It's a plan. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. It's 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 decent. It's it's better than nothing. Incoming. Whee. There we go. There's the AoE there. So as you can see the um Combat is a lot more uh, active than, you know, 14, which is the other MMO that I love to play all the time. Right, right. You're still talking. I, I get it. Okie dokie. Big motherfucker. Nope, no, we're running away from that. Do that. So combat relies very heavily on um, these abilities which create uh, resources and then these abilities that drain resources and they do more damage based on how many resources you have built up. So it's very much um, 
it's a combo game. You you really want to look. You want you want to look for uh, combos that you can do, and you get into the skills. And whoa, hi. Sup, bro. Sup, bro. This is another one of my favorite characters. It into yourself. Breathe it out. Will this broken body mend it? Healing. The next platform. Uh, shit. Yep. Oh shit! Somebody went down. Crap. Shit. Oh crap! Fuck. Uh, this is this is the see, this is the problem with um. Big battles, they tend to get kind of, uh, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is even- Oh god, get it away, get it away! Ah, uh, heal, 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 heal! There we go. Kill it, kill it, kill it with fire! Kill it with shotgun. Nope, run away! The kill gate's it. opening! I think that's bad news. Yep, bad news. Uh, okay. And this is where we just run the fuck away. Cause fuck that. Fuck that shit. Someone has to push through. This confusion may be all the time we have. Oh wait, stop stop hitting me. Stop hitting me! Okay, cool. Stop hitting me. Now I can run. It's all coming down! What shit? And now I can't go back. Now I can't go back to save my friends. For all we know they're dead forever. Oh no. And now we see reality fall apart. And more cutscenes. Well, yeah, that happened. But anyway, to, um... Ed, Eddie, sorry. Um, if you are planning on playing 14, go for it. But, um, if you want to, you can buy this game and still play it without paying for, for a subscription. It's basically buy to play. And, uh, then you can subscribe for extra benefits, but you can also just play the game. Pineal gland. So. Overstimulated. Higher brain functions. Something Functioning. Like that. that is great work. Well above MK Ultra success rate. Hey, can I ask you, have you ever seen a Jaguar tripping? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look it up sometime. Hey, you'd better haul ass to the test chamber. Jump through a few hoops. Oh, oh, and you may be feeling some discomfort from the microchip that I grafted to your spinal column. No worries, though. I mean, it's 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 gonna fade, really. And as your doctor, I'd caution you, strongly caution you. Don't try removing it, okay? That is the downside to the Illuminati. They uh, <laughs> they don't fuck around. <laughs> Granted, neither do the Templar or the Dragon. The Illuminati are just more direct about it. Um. Look, you can see all this cool shit that, that Zern's got in his lab. You can see all these things that we may or may not be seeing sooner than later. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Paranoia is a part of a 
yes, you, if you if you listen closely, you can hear the Pyramidian occasionally saying things um, over the intercom here. Let me see if I can just stand here for a bit, and he'll say something. Well, hello there. Yeah, this is Illuminati headquarters. It is very uh, postmodern, as you can see. I guess he's not feeling chatty today. Uh, test chamber would be over here. Did you hear that? That was him. Um, he usually says funnier stuff, but I think he only says that during the tutorial uh, phase because this isn't the real game. This is the fake game. This is the game teaching you how to play the game. Um, yeah, I really need to get a wireless headset. This thing is fucking annoying the piss out of me. And now more cutscenes! Don't you love that? I do actually. I really love the story in this game. They give me clay and expect me to hand them back steel. <laughs> it is not an instructor they want, it is an alchemist. You, my friend, are in a world of tigers. And they will eat you alive if you are weak, if you hesitate, if you do not strike first. Here, you will learn to strike first and strike hard. For those combat holograms, they can do nothing to you. I, however, have a high-powered rifle and a streak of what some call sadism. I call a will to incentivize. You have potential, but we have no time to tease it out of you. Inside you is a power, an anima, you can draw on to make yourself stronger, faster, a more effective killer. It is the magic behind the magic bullet. The weapons you use will become an extension of yourself. They are the instruments through which your anima is made force. I want you to arm yourself and show me that force. We have an arsenal here. You can experiment with all of them if you please. You have an edge, my friend. And I am not interested in how or why you came to possess it. A bee flew, flew into my mouth. It to the best of your abilities. Nothing less. Okay, but I got a bee in my mouth. Chamber, you can do so in safety. Safe. Except from me. Now, let us begin. <coughs> so this is where you get to test the different weapon varieties and stuff like that. And you get to do this in every uh, faction. But so here we have the um, these really cool holograms. In the dragon, you have these sort of, uh, sort of, like, you know, training dummies that you see in, like, um, like dojos and stuff like that, because they're in fucking Korea, so of course they would, because Asia, I guess. I mean, it, it makes sense in, in, the, in the world it's, I'm gonna shut up. Anyway, um, and then the Templar, uh, the Templar don't ho fucking hold back, they just have, like, demons like, chained up in their fucking test chamber, ready for you to just kill them over and over again. Anyway, um, so now is a good time to look at, fuck off, help. I'm gonna, I'm going to tell them myself. So there. Um, now is a good time to look at the various, uh, skill wheels that you have. And this is the skill wheel. Um, there are a total of 525 abilities <laughs> that you can get. Um, and 175 ability points you can have at one time. Though, if you are holding that many, you have either s you've either just done all of the skills and you have no reason to put them in, or you're being an idiot. You should always have your ability points put into something. Um, and there are these things called decks, which are like little starter things that teach you like how to play the game by s trying these various uh. Ability, like, uh, pre-made decks, like literally decks, 
Um, and Proto just said he wants me to be a tank. So I think I might go with the goon, who kind of looks like Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Um, the male one looks even more like him. It's ridiculous. But um, So they're very good on uh, survivability and drawing. As it says right there, this deck is intended for tanking, focusing on survivability and drawing attacks away from the group. Um, and you can see they have their abilities mostly in blades, a little bit in hammers, um, and one in turbulence, which is basically all these different abilities that uh, gain hate. Um, and there's different kinds of stuff like that. There's um, survivalism, which uh, gets debuffs off you. It, you can read all of them if you want to. Um, it self heals. It um, basically gets you out of jams. And then subversion, which is mostly like um, reducing hate so that you can beat the shit out of them and they won't aggro to you. Um, so, uh, Proto is saying that he wants to be the healer, so I can go either deeps or tank, and I might, I, I think I'll go either, um, y you do your own build after these, but these are a good way to start, because, um, they help you sort of learn how different, uh, abilities work in the game, and you get the cool little, uh, you, s you see this, uh, this outfit here? Yeah, you get to have that when you have the full wheel done, when you have the full, um, abilities done. Um, so yeah. So I think I'm either going to go Goon or maybe Grifter or uh, Thaumaturge, although I don't really like Thaumaturge's outfit, um, but Thaumaturge is like uh, up close and personal, like pew pew pew, and then um, a Grifter is basically a summoner, um, they, they summon like turrets that then do everything for them, and then the Goon is just, I hit you in face, you tank me in face. Um, so I think I might go goon for now, but it really doesn't matter ultimately. Like full complete end game, you will have all of those abilities, and you can switch around at any time. I am totally serious. You can be literally whatever you want. So um, and then they have starter decks for um, like the very very first things you do, and if there is one that matches up with. One of the other ones, which I don't think there is specifically. Yeah, none of these really match up with what I'm planning to do. So I think I might just uh, forget about those and go with Goon for now. Um, and not worry about the starter decks that I can get in like a matter of hours later in the game, whenever I want, um, just by grinding. So let's start with the blade, because that's the main Goon weapon. So that's new. I don't remember them s like that the whole thing where it showed you like what it's good for and the guy talking to you about it. That's new. That wasn't in there when the game first started. Um uh, let's go with you. Let's just uh oh, right. I have to equip it first. <laughs> Ishmert. Okay. So that's 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 the basics of how sword works. You get up, you, you, sm you smack them around a bunch, and then when you hit uh, five of these, which um, you get from doing this, then you smack them even more. And that's an AoE, so that's awesome for uh, just general cool shit. So I think I'm gonna keep that. Uh, what? Are you fucking serious? I have to target another one? Okay. Uh, so this is the thing. Sometimes it doesn't recognize that you did something, and you have to do it again. I've only noticed it for this tutorial area, though, so... Oh, come on, I did it! I did the thing! Stop making me... D uh, it doesn't recognize things sometimes. There. Are we done? Okay, we're done. Now we talk to him. Wherever he is, there he is. Yes, this is my first weapon. And then the other one for Goon, I believe, is... Sorry, let me look it up real quick. Uh, yeah, Hammer. Hammer <laughs> Hammer's the big tanking one. Like, um, So all of these things, um, shotgun, pistols, assault rifle, uh, blade, fists, 
hammers and then over here in magic which maybe I'll spec into later because I love magic so much you got chaos blood and elementalism um, but all of these things have different uh, like uses like all of them are DPS all of them can be used for DPS uh, but they also have different uses like for instance um, elementalism is just full DPS like that is burn the fucker down uh, blood magic, however, is healing abilities and shielding abilities, um, and then chaos is tanking abilities, where you're like up close and personal and like, you know, doing all sorts of cool like magic shit in, in their face and making them hurt you. Um, and the same thing is for everything else. Like for um, melee weapons, blade is DPS. Uh, fists are healing, of all things. Um, I guess you're like, you're punching the chi into them or some shit. <laughs> and then hammer is just straight up tank. That is just, wha bam, face me. Uh, and then I believe, um, I know assault rifle is healing for guns because I actually, on Tiv, I play an assault rifle uh, blood magic healer. Um, you can actually, if I go into the, uh, Dex, um, the Necromancer is basically what I started with with that, and it's um, a healer that uh, uses assault rifles and blood magic. So, um, yeah, uh, that is not what I wanted. Sorry, I did not want to use the shotgun. I apologize. Uh, well, I mean, we could. Let's let's see. I think I don't actually know if pistols and shotgun, if either of them are really tanky. I think they're the only ones where neither of them is specific tank. Um, but I know Hammer is tankity tank tank. And then it tells you about the builders and consumers, blah blah blah. Uh, so, let's see. Let's start with four, and then build up a little. Alright. Apparently it wants me to do them in order. Thank you. And, um, the resource builders, most of the time, build resources for everything, for both things that you're, uh, equipped with. Um... So you really only need like one good one and then like some other ones that do resource building and other stuff um, and then just fill the rest of it with uh, resource consumers and just beat the shit out of everything. Um, oh god, it's making me do all these things I don't want to do! Ugh. Here. Am I done now? Thank you! Okay, let me go, let me go play the fucking game. Yes, this is a very You will use it to maintain contact in the field. Do you understand? That is all. Good. This is a very good place to be in if you don't know how the game works, so you can sort of figure out what uh styles that you like to play with. Uh but for someone who has already played the game a little, it's it's just sort of like it, it's kind of annoying. But and now we have the incredibly useful phone. Now the phone is basically how you get all of your quests completed. You don't have to go, n most of the times, you don't have to go back to the person who gave you the quest or the place that you got the quest. Uh, you just finish the quest using the phone. You just call up the, the Luminom Noms or the Dargons or the Templars or whatever and you say, hey I did a thing. And I go, okay good, here's your money. And you're done. Like, that is the coolest thing! <laughs> it, is, it is such a small thing, but it's the coolest thing I've seen in any, any MMO where you don't have to go back to the guy! And they give you a good reason for it. It's not like, oh, you finished the quest line. Okay, you're done now. It's like, alright, you, you turned it in, you told them what you did, and you're done now. Good job. Have a cookie. Yeah, I think, I think now I'm in the actual Illuminom Noms center. I'm not sure. I might still be in, yeah, I'm still in uh, tutorial land. You can tell because it's usually not quite this desolate. Oh no, I'm not in tutorial land. Yay, I found another pe person. So yeah, there, there are other human beings in this game. Um, 
And as I said, it looks more desolate than it actually is because they specifically made it that way. Like, see, there's another person. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. I like it. Smells like the senators in town. Right. More lore bits. Ah, yes, the buzzing. So this is... Uh, and if you'll excuse me one minute, I have somebody at my door.